So, hi guys, um, Tim here, back again, with another military-related, military-related video. This time I'll be showing off my small library of military um, collection reference books, because it's really, whatever you collect, military or anything else, you will have a library, or most of you will have a library of collecting reference guide books of that specific subject or uh, items, you know, for example. Um, and this is, this is, um, this is, part, this is um, a overview of the, well, the only overview you can do of all the small, all the um, military, military collecting reference book I ha books I have. In that section there, or well, kind of that section you've got, um, general, you know, books like military collectors, military collectors, collectibles, sorry, book there. Um, and then it really starts from here. You've got German, there, British, a kind of cap badges, insignia, then medals on the end. Um, so I'll just have a quick run through. So this book here isn't really a, it's not really a um, reference collecting book. It's mostly a military history book, but it does reference battles and everything like that. So it's a, it is a good book if you want things like uh, mil uh, military history of specific battles, um, wars, and things like that. And the, and it you know does South Africa, India, as well. Um, the British. Um, Great War Tommy, the British Soldier, 1914-1918. That's a very good military collector's reference book for 1902 pattern webbing, 1908 pattern webbing, 1914 pattern webbing, pardon me, 1902 pattern service tunings, the lot, the rifles, everything of the British Army during the First World War. Should we get that in? That. Um, the Bible, there, military collectibles book. There, it's called The Bible because it just generally is. That is... Basically, this book can covers can cover everything that I've got here. Um, so you know, if if you're going to get a reference book, get military collectibles. There, very highly recommended book. Um, another military te, mili, um, military insignias encyclopedia. That's mostly I only really look at it for U.S., German, and British insignias. It does cap badges as well. Um, buttons, but it does do, I think, Italian, South African, Indian, other things like that. Um, D-Day Kit Bag is an alright book. Um, they do get a few things wrong sorry, in the book, uh, but it's alright. Camouflage book, everything you need to know about camouflage, you know, anything from splinter pattern, German splinter pattern, dot 44, British 1968 pattern DPM, the lot, it's in there. Um, two or maybe, well, sorry, two reference books here, uh, but before that you've got um, military vehicle markings, so all those military decals you see on tanks and other vehicles um, will be in this book, highly recommend, but quite an old book now, I think 70s or 80s, 80s. Um, two great books by Brian L. Davis here, um, German Army uniforms and insignias there, that's just a note. That's an overview of the German army, and then you've got kind of uh, the second book of it, if you like, kind of continuation. But it's not an official continuation, but I call it is badges and insignias. That is mostly the German army insignias um, booklet by same guy Brian L. By Brian L. Davis. There, that's a great book for again arm shields. Um, those volunteer insignias that the Germans had during the war and everything like that um, brassards and things like that if I can get them back in um, this one is quite a, I think it's a hard book quite a, quite a hard book to find it's a German army uniforms or colour guide German army uniforms there and um, that's quite a nice book um, again the same same book as the German one again Brian L Davis publication um, British Army insignias and uh, uniform and insignias of World War Two use that a lot. Great reference, uh, great uh, reading material as well. Oh, there's books just uh, sticking at the back. Get them. 
Um, just a blunt um, Osprey but men arms series British art British infantryman equipment 1808 to 1908 that's good overall the British equipment this one is quite a good book that you probably haven't heard of it's a um, British Empire uniform so uniforms equipment used by the British colonial troops uh, during the interwar periods 1919 uh, to 1939 when they went back to policing the empire after the first world war you know in things like china uh south africa in uh, india things like that shanghai things like that if i can get back in um so that's a good book as i said they're all military reference guide books as well so they aren't, you know, apart from him, which is mostly military history, you do get, you know, the usual uh, ones in there. So these three books by the Europa Militaria series, um, that one is, again, very good for British Army webbing, 1908 pattern webbing and 1937 pattern webbing. Uh, does some really great um, period photographs and surviving items. I'm going backwards. Oh, no, wait. Got it, right. Um, this one, post-war British jungle webbing, so 1944 and 1958 pattern webbing, that's what that is. Then you've got, if I can get it out, British Army and civilian and just general gas mask of the Second World War. Again, good book. Um, this book, which is right at the back. Um, Battle Dresses 1939 1960, that's again a good book, covers the general, you know, three different types of battle dress during the Second World War. Uh, of course, 1940 pattern and the post war 49 pattern ones and other ones in between. Um, good book here on socket bayonets, everything to do with socket bayonets, right from, um, you know, the plug, well, it does start with the plug bayonet and then goes through the sockets and everything. In between and after. Uh, this is quite an old 1970s book, Illustrated Guide to Rifles. There was actually a series of these books called The Illustrated Guides 2. And now you can get Illustrated Guides to um, Rifles and Submachine Guns, Pistols, Birds, Tanks, Aircraft, Wildlife. Um, but they all start with An Illustrated Guide 2, and it could be anything. Um, yeah, I mean, I used to have, I think I used to have airplanes and tanks, I think, but I have this one, which is, you know, again, it's a handy reference book to have, a pocket book. Uh, on the top here, these are just printouts, these aren't actual sheets, but I've printed this out online, the Waffenamp factory German codes, that they're, you know, the different codes mean the different places and the dates of when they were on, so that's that. Um, mm-hmm. Um, this is quite a, quite a good book. Um, South African War, World War One, and World War Two, China and pottery related ephemera in that book. There, so, well, um, where were we? Um, two volumes on the First World War and the Second World War cap badges. All you need to know about the cap badges and, of course, the regiments um, who wear them. There. Um, again, another excellent book is Brad Badges and Uniforms of the Royal Air Force. Excellent book. They've got basically everything I need to know and anybody needs to know. Uh, they show a great lineup of all the RAF half wing bre uh, brevets that are worn. Um, again, it's a great book by was that Malcolm Malcolm C Hobart. Um, badges and Uniforms of the Royal Air Force. Another great book. Um, Another kind of series of books there, Get that out, which is uh, again more pocket size ones. Illustrate reference guide for collectors' badges of the British Army 1820 1960. That um, same one but buttons as well, like 1855 to 1970 buttons. Special forces, so commandos, Royal Marine commandos, SAS, things like that, SBS. And this one's a good one. Um, British Army cloth insignias, 1940 to the present day, so, you know, what a British infantryman, infantry would wear, you know, for example, Second Infantry Division, of course, that, and things like that, and it has trade insignias, qualification, it has, um, 
um, proficiency and printed and cloth um, um, shoulder titles in there as well. It's all good. Now, um, again, another book, as I say, highly recommended series of books of these guys, the Blanford Colour series. I do recommend, if you're Second World War, mostly that one. This one's this Blanford Colour series booklet is from 1945, since 45. But this one here is Badges and Signings of World War Two. It shows it shows you colour line drawings of. I look at mostly the British and American and German, but it shows you Italian and uh, what are the ones Italian, Belgium, Russian, Italian, um, Poland as well. But as I say, it's great for British and American divisional insignias in that book. So that's a great, great book as well. That's actually one of the very first. Um, in um, actual reference book I bought many years ago. Um, again, a great book, one-stop shop. A lot of these books are one-stop shop books, but this one, ba military badge by collecting by John Gaylor, very good. Again, basically packs these two into one book. Um, great book. That again covers general every every cap badge in there. Um, same book, but this one for um, metal shoulder titles. So metal shoulder titles, kind of brass shoulder titles and anodized aluminium post-war stay-bright shoulder titles. It mainly covers the brass World War One, World War Two, and just post-war ones. Though that's a good book. Get it out. Uh, a bit of a, a cheapier book for medals. British. Ooh, if I'm, Drop it. British campaign medals. There, not eighteen fifteen, to when the British, you know, when the British Army first adopted their own individual medal for the infantry to nineteen fourteen. That's quite a book, quite a good book. Um, then another, another one. This one hasn't got its well, its dust cover is inside. is a bit shot, but it's if I can get it up. The orders and decorations. And, oh, put that up there. and uh, the medal yearbook, which of course each year they come out with the medal yearbook. This one's 2019 edition. Um, again, a great book for you know medals. And I say price guide. Don't I've seen a bit of the price guide and things like defence medals and war medals are to me overly priced. And there's some medals which are overly priced in this. There's some which are all right, but I mainly use it just for a reference guide instead of an actual price guide booklet uh, but that's a good book um, and that's it really on my um, on my book um, reference library militaria reference library from get that back in yeah um, but no so books that I would personally recommend is the Bible military collectibles that's highly recommended um, the military vehicle markings the uh, German and British bride well, German and British um, Brian L Davis books there and the and the German Third Reich insignias there um, Badges and uniforms of the Royal Air Force, there as well. I probably won't be able to get that back, no I won't. Um, what else, what else? Military badge collecting, and if you want to, uh, Blanford uh, colour series there. So, um, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in um, the next video, whenever that will be. Bye.